tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing us. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, Vicious. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imago Mena. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are on the way. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very... Oh! advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice liver shot, Lewis. Oh! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Wow, actually got the takedown. Just misses with that one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nermago Menov gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's throwing every part of himself into this big leg kick. And they separate. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Liver kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Metal. You're always thinking wrestlers when you fight on me, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, big punch land. Oh. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, at the first, you don't succeed. 
I try again, was able to get him down. Persistence. Hit. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. You gotta be careful, arm one. He might get a finish here. Escape, escape, escape. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. And this might just be a matter of time. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, and still... So there he is, he came in the hunted, he remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. One of the best welterweight champions in UFC history.